Hi, what's up? In this video, I will show you an extension which is going to let you draw on your lovely Ubuntu desktop. So basically, each time you want to do something with your Ubuntu, there is a corresponding GNOME extension just for this purpose. All right, go to the extensions gnome.org page and the name of the extension we're going to install is draw on your screen. So to install this, just go and turn it on. This is going to download and install this extension. Click install and it's done. This extension offers you a variety of features. Like you can draw basic shapes, rectangles, circles, ellipses, lines and polygons on your desktop. And you can do basic transformations. You can move them, rotate, resize, and stretch them. And there is also mirror effect and the inverse effect. You can create smooth strokes. You can draw over applications, over browsers. And what is great about this extension is you can make all these drawings persistent. There is also multi-monitor support. And you can also export your drawings to SVG files. Okay, so simply go to Tweak Tools and in the Extensions tab, you will see Draw on your screen extension. So to start drawing, the default key is Super Alt D. Simply hit Super Alt D and you can start drawing on your screen. To change things a little bit, just open up the settings file so we can see the shortcuts. So what I did is I actually installed this extension before the video and change the default key to plus sign. You can also do the same. Just go and double click and choose what's best for you. For me, it's a plus. Okay, cool. So enter and leave the drawing mode. I need to hit plus sign and to erase all drawings, I'm gonna make this minus. Okay, why don't you go ahead and try it? I'm hitting the plus sign and it's entering the drawing mode. Now I can draw on my screen actually. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I can draw any images with this. So if you're done with that and just want to leave, then you need to hit minus sign. Okay, it's gone. So look at the other options. If you want your drawings to be persistent over toggles, you need to enable this one. So in this case, drawings remains when toggling drawing mode. You can also make it persistent over restarts. And what else? You can also disable on screen notifications like entering and leaving the drawing mode notifications. And you can also disable panel indicator. Okay, the internal settings are draw. We know how to draw. We also have the fill and outline options. I'm hitting the plus sign, entering the drawing mode. So to toggle between the fill and outline options, you need to center click with your mouse. So this is me drawing with the outline option. So if I hit center with my mouse, I can enable the fill option. It's filling up the shape you draw with the selected color of your choice. Awesome. If you want to change colors, you can hit Ctrl and the numbers. So Ctrl plus one is the hot pink, Ctrl two, Ctrl three, yellow, orange. There's a color palette for this. Okay, I like this color. And hit center with your mouse. It's now not filling up. Also, if you want to increment or decrement line width, you can scroll with your mouse, just like that. Okay, look at this. This is much bigger. Maybe I can decrement it and it's a thin line. Okay, get back to the where it was before. My scroll not working great. Cool. Also, the Ctrl Z is going to delete the actions you made. Great. Okay, what else we can do? 
I just want to draw a rectangle. How do I do it? Okay, here are the options. You can select the ellipse, rectangle, polygon with Ctrl Y, Ctrl R, Ctrl E options. Let's try it. Entering the drawing mode and I want to create a polygon. So I hit Ctrl Y and what the fuck is So I want to have a rectangle, so I hit Ctrl R. Okay, entering the drawing mode, hit Ctrl R. So it's an awesome rectangle, right? To fill this up, I can hit center. It's in the fill mode. Okay, now it's gonna fill this up with the color I selected. Just change the color to something else. Maybe a purple, yes. And hit Ctrl E for the ellipse. Yeah, fill this up. This is awesome. There's actually no limit what you can do with this extension. It's up to your imagination. So if you want to save your work somehow, there is a shortcut for this. Let's see. So to save your drawing, you need to hit Ctrl S. Maybe you can turn it into an SVG file with Ctrl Alt S. So before ending the video, let's try this. Entering the drawing mode, I want to save this stuff into an SVG file, so I hit Ctrl Alt S and it took a screenshot. Maybe I can just do Ctrl S. See, it's downloading an PNG file. So, to be honest, I couldn't find where the hell did it go. But if you know the answer, just comment below. So that was it for this video guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Otherwise, see you.